Hey guys, welcome to another Warframe video and today we're gonna take a quick look at a secondary weapon that I've been eyeballing for quite a while because it's kind of interesting and it goes by the name of Embolist. Now first things first, if you want to get your hands on the Embolist, you will first have to research it via the biolab in your dojo, at which point you can buy the blueprint for 50,000 credits. If you then want to build the Embolist, you will have to invest an additional 30,000 credits, 5 mutagen mass, 15,000 salvage, 1,200 circuits and 1 forma. The Embolist is a secondary beam pistol that requires you to be at least mastery rank 9 to use it and it does 35 toxin damage per tick. It fires up to 8 rounds per second with 33 rounds in the magazine, 210 rounds in total and 1.3 second reload. It has a very low 3% crit chance with a below average 1.5 times crit multiplier and a very nice 41% status chance. It also comes with one dash polarity as standard which is not the worst thing for a secondary weapon. Now the setup I ended up with on the ember list is a very cheap one for my build where I've just added one V. And the mods I'm using are Hornet Strike for damage, Barrel Diffusion for multi-shot, then I slapped on Ogre Pact for even more damage, a Lethal Torrent for fire rate and multi-shot, and then I have Ruinous Extension. Now this is very much a personal preference, I just didn't like the short range of the weapon and you can easily swap it out for the Eroding Blight Augment, though this is going to require one more Forma. The weapon just didn't feel right without it because I was constantly firing at enemies that were too far away for the weapon to hit them so I was wasting a lot of ammo and this made it feel a lot better. Then I've added Scorch for some heat damage and status chance and I topped it all off with Pistol Pestilence and Jolt for corrosive damage and capped status because with 3 dual stat mods you're gonna have 100% status chance. Now this particular setup, so the corrosive and heat one, performs really well against anything with armor so mostly the Grenier and some of the Corrupted. The immense amount of multi-shot that secondaries can get combined with 100% status chance and a decent tick rate means that this is one of the best weapons for stripping away armor. And once that's done, the sheer amount of damage per tick this weapon can dish out is more than enough to kill anything. It's decently effective versus the infested as well, but since they generally don't have armor, you lose out on the effectiveness of your corrosive procs. And it is complete and utter garbage versus the corpus. You're probably gonna run out of ammo before you kill a heavy unit at around level 100, which is why you might want to switch to this setup instead where we're running Pistol Pestilence and Scorch for gas damage and then Jolt for some electricity which provides crowd control and also caps your status. Now this one, unlike the previous one, is completely out of garbage versus the Grenier, though you can get a decent amount of crowd control out of it with the electricity and if you keep firing you will eventually infect them with so many toxin procs they will die. But it performs better versus the infested, especially when there is a lot of them so the gas clouds overlap and you proc an insane amount of toxin on everything within range. And it's really good versus the corpus as well because the toxin procs from the gas clouds will go straight through their shields and proto shields and every now and then the gas clouds will take care of the annoying drones that are flying around as well. Now this open is pretty interesting because it's basically like a pocket version of the Ignis that just sprays out mad amounts of status at the cost of crit because it doesn't really have any. It's a bit of a shame that they removed the innate toxin proc the weapon used to have because before the weapon rebalancing, no matter what kind of elemental combo you would have on the weapon, it would always proc toxin on top of that so it was really good for stacking status for condition overload, which made it really good for dual wielding with a condition overload glaive. But I think it's still really good because the status on this is super reliable which as I've said already also makes it one of the best weapons for stripping away armor if you can't do that with your warframe or a cavat. And it's once again pretty unique when it comes to secondary weapons because the closest thing that I can think of is probably the Atomos which is another secondary beam weapon but this one is far less reliable on the status front, it does less damage though that is kind of balanced out by the fact that it has decent crit so you can build it for hybrid but what in my opinion makes the Atomos stand out above the Embolus is that it's cheap, it's available from the market and it only requires MR5 rather than 9. The way I see it is that Atomos is better for lower level stuff and the Embolis scales better late game though it will require more investment because you first have to research it via the bio lab, then you need to build the mutagen lab from the bio lab and get one forma and then you can build the weapon. But I would honestly recommend you check it out because the amount of status this thing can pump out is just insane. And I almost forgot to mention this, it also has perfect Riven disposition so you can get some unreasonably rolled Rivens with like mad stats and turn this into a god tier weapon. And that's pretty much it, so I thank you very much for watching, as always guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video and I will see you next time, bye bye.